What's going on everybody? It's Quebec QBZ. It's Arms Day! Yes, Banshee44 has new weapons as you can see here. You can actually field test these prototypes and help build rank with him, build stuff. So first we've got the Omelone Test FR1. You test this one just by using it in the Crucible. It's your fusion rifle. It seems pretty legit, but I don't think you'll be able to use a couple of the perks. Just basically basing that on the fact that one of them, Danger Close, requires that you have two enemies in a close proximity. And that rarely happens in the Crucible and rarely, more rarely even happens when you are using a fusion rifle in the match. It's kind of difficult, but and it might come out pretty well. The impact on it is very high. Next up, we got the, the Hockey Test A. It's a pulse rifle. I selected this one personally. I think this one's going to be pretty sweet. It's got the holographic lens on there. It also has Relentless Tracker, which is, seems like it might be pretty good. Enhancing your motion tracker resolution for a short amount of time. If you can link kills together, it will be pretty excellent. It also has the Hockey Pulse Rifle. Fires an additional projectile with each burst, so you'll get four shots in and you can drop your enemies quickly. Following that up is the Suros TSR-10 Rocket Launcher. You need to use this one in the taking out high ranking enemies in the field. So you'll probably be using this one for PvE, but it just has really basic year one perks on it. It has a really high blast radius. It's ridiculous. The velocity is pretty good. That rate of fire is in the bucket though. But you can use aggressive launch or something else related to that perk to be able to try to have a little bit better control of it so you can actually land that one shot next up is the hockey test a sniper rifle this one is solar damage they want you to get this one with double kills which might be really difficult you might be able to get double kills with pve it doesn't specifically mention that it's crucible or out in the environment Next up and final one is the Omelon Test RR1. This one seems pretty legit. It has a okay rate of fire, but a really low impact for a sniper rifle. It does arc damage. It has standard zoom, as you can see right there for that lens. Overall, I think these are some pretty sweet guns to test, and I would definitely want to make sure that you check out each one of them today. But lastly up, the one thing that's happened to our Black Hammer is that it lost the Precision Mag bonus which is usually in this area right here where three critical shots and you would actually get your app, your magazine automatically refilled. You could take out anything anytime you want it as long as you get those three critical shots, namely walkers. Walkers, you just hang back on the devil's slayer strike and you could just wreck shop with that thing that usually destroys everybody. But now that that perk is gone, it's a mediocre sniper rifle and you should probably get rid of it and guess what Bungie has given you an incentive to get rid of your black hammer and it's quite amazing what you can get from it but without the precision mag bonus it's a pretty much useless sniper rifle you could use patience of time or something else to get better results out of it but first get rid of it and then you'll get black hammer runestone yes when you just dismantle your black hammer you'll get an quest item so taking a look at it, it says this strange room was left over when you dismantled the black hammer. Its markings are high, but I can't make any sense of it said by your ghost. It looks really weird. It's kind of hard to understand. At first it looks like a skill tree, but it's really not. But what you should do is you should, this should prompt you to go straight to Eris Morn and you can see what she has for you. So opening her up, you can see right here that it says quest complete. You actually just completed a quest by dismantling your black hammer. Congratulations. Thank you, Bungie, for rewarding us. So basically it says this room stone came from the black hammer and you say, curious, hive language is a strange art. The meaning rests more on the speaker's strength than the words themselves. I can tell you only that this signifies the presence of Crota. So, let you know it's one of Crota's Crota's ends weapons kind of thing. But it's really nice to see that Bungie's rewarding players for actually giving up a perk on a gun that was probably OP from what they created in the first spot and they probably should have seen in the first place. 
but giving us a little giving us a little meat on the bone left by letting you get this quest item now i personally will wait till next week until the taken king drops so you can actually get experience and maybe glimmer or something else if you're level 34 i'll repeat wait till after the taken king drops so you can level up using this especially with that Focus light perk so you can level up really quickly when you turn in bounties. It's been QBear QBZ. Hope you guys had a great day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. And check out a couple of my other videos. I had also discovered a workaround for the blink nerf that you might find interesting. It looks pretty sweet. Check out this video right here. And I hope Bungie sees this so it can be fixed. Later, guys.